guys i'm back with a gel polish mani christmas theme um so before we get started you guys know i have on my luxe nail builder gel and i have on one coat of hollow taco pilly base so i did a daily charm unboxing video um a few weeks ago and i'll link that in the cards if you want to see what came in that mystery box but these were two of the gel polishes that were in that mystery box and so since they are green I decided to use them one is a cream color and the other is a cat eye gel polish so you need a magnet to um, get the cat eye or the best you can do effect so guys just hang out with me while I do this Christmas themed gel polish application So I will say that these gel polishes applied rather nicely. Now I didn't record all my fingers. I just did my um, index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger. But I'm just applying one coat of the green and cure for, it said 30 to 60 seconds. I went ahead and did a full 60 seconds because I didn't want to have any issues. Um, and they applied nicely. I didn't have too many um problems with that they didn't run all over the place um, like I expected um, of course I tried not to overload my brush as well so um, before you cure you do want to use a nail brush and some alcohol to clean up any excess gel polish that may have be in your cuticle area or on your skin or side walls before you cure So I'm going in with the cat eye gel polish and I have my magnet there that's from eye gel beauty so I'm going in and applying a layer of the cat eye polish really nice color um, and I'm just applying that all over the nail and then I'm going to use my magnet um, on the cuticle area the free edge of my nail and the side walls hopefully to get a good magnetic effect I don't know how effective it was but I'm going to do that um, for this nail I will then cure and then um, I do each nail individually because if you wait and you could lose that um, effect that you made with the magnet um, because it'll start dissipating back into the um, over the nail instead of being concentrated in the area in which you use the magnet. So I'm going in with Daily Charm No Wipe Diamond Shine Top Coat, and this is a 30 second cure, and I'm going to apply that to all nails. Um, I had, I've, I've always had this top coat, or I've had it for quite some time, let me say it that way. Um, I didn't like it, but it seemed to go rather nicely with this gel polish. So again, I try to stick with the same brand of gel polish that I am using because these products are designed for their that company's gel polish so please keep that in mind um, if you're mixing and matching gel polishes do I do it all the time no but I do it most of the time
So after I cured in my LED lamp, this is the finished look. You guys know I couldn't leave well enough alone. I should have just left this like it was. Um, I tried some nail stamping with this, uh, trying to uh, stamp some silver snowflakes on top. Didn't work out well. So I had these stickers and I was like, well, let's just try these. Um, I shouldn't have done the stickers because you really couldn't see it. It didn't show up well. So you guys know I like to add extra stuff to my nails, but this is where I should have left alone. But I'm just applying the stickers to that one nail um, and pressing that um, or rubbing that in with my silicone tweezer tool, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll apply some additional smaller stickers to my nail and uh, press those down with the uh, silicone end of my tweezers and then I will apply another layer of top coat and cure for 30 seconds. So guys, here is the finished look. Once your nails have cooled off from being in the LED lamp, you want to apply your favorite cuticle oil to rehydrate your cuticles, skin, and nails. So you guys will have to let me know what you think. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's free. Hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.